uh, hi guys in this video we are going to see what is the uh, difference or the comparison between the mov as well as tvs diode that means a metal oxide varistor or the simply in, gen in general we used to say is the varistor right varistor versus the tvs diode so we are going to see um, the advantages and disadvantages of the mov and tvs diode and what is the suitable applications for these uh, protection devices Uh, before that we are going to see what is the ideal requirements for the uh, transient voltage suppression devices and surge voltage introduction about the surge voltage protection as well so if you see it the ideal requirements of any surge voltage protection device that may be a mov or a tvs diode or gas discharge tube it has to be in open circuit that means during the normal operation during uh, when the system is getting normal voltage it should it should be in open circuit it should not impact any uh, it should not uh, do any impact on the normal operation and when a abnormal condition happens when the uh, even slightly uh, abnormal condition also just above the normal it has to conduct without any delay that means the uh, reaction time it has to be as less as possible so it has as quickly as it has to start to conduct when any when it feels any abnormal uh, voltage okay and next i will recommend is uh, uh, it has to handle the unlimited number of power, uh, power and current okay and uh, it has to revert back to the open circuit once the abnormal condition has gone okay so in ideally these are ideal requirements so none of the uh, yeah, protection device has to meet this ideal requirements right so obviously some pros and cons will be there so in this video we are going to see what are the those pros and cons for the mov and tvs to you and which is the best one and uh, is, is is there any which is the best one or what is the uh, which is suitable for the uh, application okay and you are seeing here that uh, surge voltage waveforms right so the ieee standard 587 suggests that it recommends that any surge voltage it may be induced uh, by natural like indirect lightning or uh, a human generated or it's a system generated either it, uh, natural or artificial wave. the surge voltage it can be categorized into a, a bidirectional that is a ring wave is the first one is showing right and the unidirectional waveforms it comes into two type of categories and you can see one of the parameter here for example i can show you see it is the t the t1 uh, it is showing that t2 is here right so the t2 is 8 microsecond and this is the t1 is a 20 microsecond so you need a parameter it will show with these values how much it can handle the energy handling capability for the 8 by 20 or here 10 by 1000 uh, waveforms i can show you one of the example yeah here you can see the table this is a uh, data sheet extract uh, screenshot of the data sheet and you are seeing here um, the peak current 8 by 20 microsecond and the energy is at 10 by 1000 microsecond so that waveform how much it is it can handle that's what it's uh, it means okay and we are go back to here so these are the ideal requirements and we are saying that none of the device will meet the ideal requirements it has some pros and cons okay yeah, let's start with the mov the the right hand side you can see the mov this is a radial component radial uh, type it's not a smd mov will not come in smd whereas tvs diodes will come into smd package okay it comes as a radial component package here this is the uh, va characteristic shown here and this is a schematic symbol you can see in a schematic if you see this is the mov you can see yeah let's see uh, it's a varistor that means variable resistor that's in the shortly it called as a varistor metal oxide varistor that's called the mov metal oxide varistor and varistor is nothing but a variable resistor that's what it's called and it is as the name suggesting it's a voltage dependent resistor that means depends upon the applied voltage across the device the resistance value its resistance value will vary okay for low for low voltages it exhibit a high resistance 
okay so if for example when the supply voltage when the voltage across the device is below the breakdown voltage yeah you can imagine by seeing the yeah you can see your yeah, mov will be connected across the yeah, line to ground right similarly tvs diode here the bidirectional tvs diode is here so now with this keep in your mind let us talk here yeah when the voltage across the uh, the system voltage that means uh, voltage applying to the circuit okay it is less than the breakdown voltage yeah threshold voltage is voltage the device has a very high resistance it will show the very high resistance whereas when it's just crossing above the breakdown voltage the resistance keep going down and current flows through the shunt uh, uh, varistor okay so that's what here it's saying that now with that in concert you imagine here so this is a 275 volt varistor uh, uh, va cartridge i have shown here see after the 275 volt so so till 275 there is it won't allow any current through it right once it cross cross the threshold voltage a, uh, a huge amount of current will bypass to the device right and you can see here that slope is more that's one, one point you will keep in mind this is the operation for the a very simple operation so whenever the is the supply voltage is less than the breakdown voltage it shows a very high resistance that means it is in open uh, condition okay when the voltage supply voltage is more than the breakdown voltage it is acts as a shorter and as it is shorter uh, it will shunt the uh, it will bypass the current instead of flowing to the system it bypass the current okay so the advantage is for this one is it's a low cost equipment compared to tvs diode it's very uh, less costly and it has a huge relatively huge uh, transient energy absorption capability okay compared to tvs diode it has a huge high transient energy absorption capability you can see here it is the it's a maximum range will be up to 1250 i am saying that 270 volt mov it can handle up to 2 uh, uh, 1250 volt and 500 amps that much energy it can handle it okay but it comes with the uh, disadvantage the disadvantage is it's a less reliable why we are saying less reliable means when or that aging pattern quickly it is that means when it's keep on facing the uh, uh, more and more surge voltages its operation is not reliable that means whether it's really a protective or not protective and and the its performance also is not clearly uh, visible whether it's really working effectively working or not okay so that's why it's saying that its uh, aging factor will be there and the degradation of the mov device uh, due to multiple stresses it will be there okay so this is not suitable for the very high exposure conditions where the frequent surge voltages will come okay in individually the mov then and here you are seeing the data sheet of the a screenshot of the data sheet from here okay and you are seeing here the normal the very first one is 130 volt mov okay and if you are seeing here it it means it's 130 volt it will start to uh, connect till 130 it will it will not allow any current on that one beyond 130 it's it, it will bypass the uh, current flow through it okay and the maximum clamping voltage uh, vc up to 390 is the maximum clamping voltage it will be there okay that's uh, data sheet parameters here and the next one is this is the uh, iv characteristics for the tvs diode so the important parameters the same the here one thing is a clamping diode that's maximum capability and the breakdown voltage see the, the different manufacturers will say it's as a threshold voltage or breakdown voltage or cut off voltage so that's one okay threshold or breakdown or uh, that thermology will be little bit different so this from the little few so they are using the breakdown voltage here okay this is let's see about the tvs diode it's the tvs diode will come as a unidirectional device as well as a bidirectional device see unidirectional means uh, it, it 
yeah here yeah this is a bidirectional tv stereo okay out of here we are seeing it and it comes with a unidirectional uh, device as well and it's it's in a smd package also it will be available and the advantages of the tv stereo it's also a surge voltage protection device that means whenever it feels the surge voltages appearing across the device it will bypass the uh, surge voltages and that does protect the uh, our equipment and the main first advantage is it has the uh, the it will work very fastly the that there won't be any delay and delay will be in terms of the nanoseconds it acts very fastly okay and compared to the mov the slope the resistive slope you can see it here it is very less okay uh, it is very steep the slope is very steep but it comes with a disadvantage the first one is it is uh, costly and it will not come with a huge current capability uh, like mov so you are seeing here that maximum is 200 amps only okay for 200 volt uh, tvs also it comes with only up to 200 amp capability only okay so this is one of the uh, screenshot i have kept it for the tvs diode Uh, data sheet okay now comes into the a comparison point of view that's what this video mainly focusing on that which one is best i'm saying so we can't say that which is the best one which we have to use it or uh, which we have to avoid it so it depends upon the application and depends upon where exactly the environment we have to choose and more frequently the combining the mov and uh, tvs that's what in the most of circuits use it due to the surge environment it will uh, the system the electrical system will categorize uh, the location is categorized like a a b c the cvrt levels right so based on that we have to uh, use uh, combining the mov as well as the tvs so the mov uh, it is a low cost and it's but it's a less reliable operation this is a plus one advantage and the, the digital sound is a less reliable operation because when it's keep on progressing into uh, more and more stresses the operation will keep on uh, the its its capability will keep on degrading but it has a very high energy uh, capability and uh, so i'm adding is a one advantage uh, disadvantage you no know, advantage and the, then the disadvantage here compared to the tv stereo it's a high costly it's reliable very really good reliable operation but the energy handicap is less and it has a low voltage drop that means the slope is very steep right so it will not the low voltage drop that means what is the low voltage drop and high voltage drop this one you can see it here why well, it's a steep voltage drop that means um, here it has a huge voltage drop is there right that means when it's connecting the stage when the huge energy handling capability something that uh, our surge the incoming surge is in something this point if you say it then it means uh when it's such kind of energy is appearing it is not fully effectively uh, suppress all the energy and some amount of is going to the device also the circuit also right so that is not the uh, the ideal uh, protection equipment has to do right all the things it has to bypass to the ground okay so that is one of the drawback here that's why it's called as a not reliable operation by only keeping the mov we cannot relay that all the uh, uh, surge energy is uh, clamped down right mm -hmm. yeah that is the comparison here and here the next chart i am comparing here i am mentioning here the same thing so the comparison between the mov and tvs to you it is uh, capable of withstanding huge energy tension whereas this one is not that much energy hand tension but the response it is responsibly very fast okay so most of the circuits most of the the uh, uh, class b locations you can see that mov at the very initial stage it will be there and then just before the uh, the sensitive components the tvs diode the esd diodes also will be there because the esd diode the energy handling capability is but it is uh, act very fastly it will not allow it act very fastly and as well as the uh, the less voltage drop low voltage drop when it's operating right so it's 
it's more guarantee that none of the surge voltage will go towards this protection diodes whereas here it's an initial stage itself it will um, bypass huge energy uh, that's why the the at front face the mo will be located here yeah uh, so there won't be anything uh, like this is the best one and this is not the best one so depends upon the application and depends upon the environment we have to choose mov as a tv style yeah thanks for watching this uh, video guys take care bye